Guys, last night we introduced you to Hannah Beekler, the production designer for Black Panther, who lives right here in New Orleans. And tonight, Hannah is breaking down one of her production designs from the film. So we're gonna take a look at one of your favorite scenes. And thanks again for hanging out with us. It's such an honor. <laughs> what it happens in this scene? This is the scene where you see the Queen Mother and the Princess and Nakia and um, Ross Everett come to M'Baku to try to get Am I spoiler alert? You know what, let's just say that this is a spoiler alert so you can make it yes, make sense. spoiler yeah. alert. So turn off the TV if you don't want to yes. know what happens, because otherwise this is not gonna make sense. And they offer him the heart-shaped herb because they think T'Challa is dead at this right. point. Right. So they come into his throne room for the first time and it's in the trailer, you sort of see the lights come up in the mountains behind the, he's the leader of the Jabari. So he lives in the mountains. And that's and the tribe is, that kind of broke off from the other three. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And he, you see him in the beginning at the challenge pool. Mm -hmm. That's in Baku. And they're, it's, they're in Gorilla City. And uh, so this is his throne room. Mm -hmm. This was built in Atlanta on stage. And we, and I'm gonna do some couple technical things and we'll get into more other things uh, real quickly. Mm -hmm. But you have actual birch logs. These logs are probably, here you see these logs, are probably about eight feet long. There's 300 of them mm -hmm. suspended from hemp rope and they all the rope comes up here into the ceiling and it's all suspended on pulleys. Cool. So we can move the rope up and down individually of all 300 of these. Oh, wow. Um, each one of these is then sharpened down to a point, if you see. So when you walk in, you're, you have what is, appears to be like a spear-like point at you. Okay. Um, and there's a reason for that. This is his throne chair. Mm -hmm. Now what we say about this chair is we grew it. And when we grow something, it's basically 3D printed. Oh. And it took about maybe two weeks to grow this. So this would be thousands of slices of wood. Wow. Right here. So it took a long time to grow. And um, our set decorator, Jay Hart, uh, is responsible for this fabulous chair. Mm -hmm. These lights are made out of logs and then it's sliced and we have a light in the middle of them. Oh, so these are beautiful. also logs. Uh, so our sort of reference and our inspiration for the Jabari was taken from an African tribe um, called the Dogon, which you will find in Mali. Mm -hmm. And they are master craftsmen at wood. Oh. And so since the Jabari don't mess with vibranium, their wood acts as their vibranium. Oh. If you look a little bit down in here and down in here, the wood is burnt. Uh, also, the wood is burnt here, so it's gradient on this back wall of uh -huh. how we burn it. We burn it by hand. And what that signifies is when that wood is burnt in the Jabari land, uh, it becomes as strong as vibranium. So in order, and down here, his throne is burnt. So if you get a big wide shot of it, you'll see that his throne's burnt part way up. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of burns here. The birch signifies, birch grows in cold weather and they're in the mountains, they're in the cold. Mm -hmm. So you will find birch in Northern America, Alaska, more colder temperatures. It's a paper-like bark. And way, way back when, uh, Native Americans would offer birch to European settlers that were coming as a form of um, trust. Birch signifies wisdom and an ancient history and ancient wisdom. Hmm. So we wanted that to be part of the Jabari and the reason we sharpened these down like that is because he is not offering his ancient wisdom to anybody that comes. It's, it's, a, it's sort of an intimidation factor wow. in that. So uh, let's see, what else? There's so that? much thought <laughs> that goes into this. Is there a point when you get to and you go, okay, I'm done, it's perfect, that's how I want it to look in the movie, or does it never feel complete? It never feels complete. Yeah, There's always more that you can do. Out here, this is your blue screen. Out here is where, when you see the movie, you see the, the mountain and the rest yeah. of the city. And you know, you're looking at M'Baku sitting here and you see the mountains and the city here. So this is sort of suspended in the air, if you will, off of the off of the mountain. Of course we built this on stage. So well, look. Yeah, this was the a fun, movie fun is set. amazing, your work is amazing, but knowing the story behind it makes it even more special because you know how much thought and research goes yep. into it. Look, your talent is beyond us. Thank you so much for Thank being you here. So much, Guys, Hannah. Black Panther is still in theaters, so go see it and you can visit Hannah's website, hannahbeekler.com, and follow her at my favorite Twitter name, Chinchilla. 1970.